Back in the days, I used to slap on WordFence along with some good hosting, and that was pretty much it for my security setup. And as a result, I had a few hacked websites. But then I started to work with some really big clients, brands like Top Golf and other global brands, and that's when I started to level up and step up my WordPress security game big time. And now I'm excited to show you my security system and how you could do the same. The goal is to add three layers of security on top of a WordPress website. This is gonna be done at the DNS level, the server level, and at the site level. And this is something a single plugin cannot do. Securing at the DNS level. This is the first line of defense. And this is where the power of Cloudflare comes in by blocking bots and malicious stuff before it even reaches your website, even DDoS. It also has things like hot link protection, which I didn't realize how important it was until one of my sites got attacked by a bunch of malicious websites, creating thousands of toxic backlinks and just slamming my SEO. And what hot links are is when another malicious site targets the URL to your images on your WordPress website. So you always want to make sure that hot link protection is enabled. You could choose different levels of security. I usually always go with the strictest. And then there are rules that you could add as a way to make things more secure. It's all good to get started. Just keeping it basic, going through the settings, you'll still get a lot of value out of it. But if you do want to step up your game and really tighten down the security, adding custom rules is going to help out. Here are a couple super useful articles to help you get started adding rules that are WordPress specific. I'll leave links to them inside of the description. But if all this feels overly complicated, you might want to check out Cloudways. They have a Cloudflare enterprise integration, which is the top level of Cloudflare. It's all set up. They have their engineering team that has it already configured for you. And it's only two to five dollars per website, which is insanely cheap. Like it's a no brainer deal. And speaking about Cloudways, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Cloudways for sponsoring this video. But hey, I've been using Cloudways for years now for my own web business, for my own WordPress maintenance plans. I've been using the Cloudflare integration, so I'd be happy to shout out Cloudways on this with or without a sponsor. Cloudways also has their malware protection add-on for only 2 to $4 a month and comes with malware removal, which is great because if you've ever been hacked, then you know removing malware could be stressful and costly. And just this week, Cloudways launched their all new firewall that protects your site at the server level and it is for free it has ip and country blocking bot protection dos protection brute force protection weak password protection and web honeypots and this adds a firewall directly to your server protecting your site at the server level and again this is free for all cloudways users being able to connect all my client sites to cloudflare enterprise and having that peace of mind knowing that i'm providing the best security solution Solutions. Well, that's one of the reasons why Cloudways has been my go-to for so many years. For most smaller sites, the free plan in Cloudflare is more than adequate. It's more than enough. There is a pro plan for sites that need more security, where you get more options, it could add more rules. And then you got the big plan, the enterprise plan, which for me has always been out of my price range and beyond my technical capabilities. But again, with Cloudways, I'm able to get it for a few dollars a month per website. Next is to secure our sites at the server level. This is our second line of defense. Good hosting is fundamental. I stick with cloud-based servers using my own dedicated IP and I stay away from shared hosting and I'm always recommending everybody to stay away from shared hosting. Shared hosting is that cheap hosting that you would find for like $3 a month. But the problem with that is you are on a server with many, many, many other websites. Like it's stuffed with websites all sharing that IP. And the problem with that is if somebody else in that server, another website has vulnerabilities or if they're doing malicious stuff, it can not affect your website and make it vulnerable. The next thing I do to protect my server is to add either a seven or eight G firewall. Now I used to add this manually, which is the seven G script right here. You could take this and add it to your HT access file. And that is going to stop by Bots and other malicious behavior from even reaching your site is going to stop them at the server level. For a while, my agent 
C was just adding the 7G firewall script. We're manually adding it to the HD access file. But then I started using WP Login Lockdown Pro. I got it as a lifetime deal on AppSumo and it was just one of those ones that was really good. I reached out to their team and I asked them about their firewall and I was really impressed that they actually use both 7 and 8G. They made a combination of the two. Now with our first line of defense and our second line of defense, it should be very rare that any sort of malicious bot or anything even reaches our website. The goal is to really prevent anything from reaching our website, but nothing is unhackable. So we wanna make sure that we add our last line of defense and there are a few things that we have to do on all of our sites. The first one is I set up an alert that goes to my personal email address whenever a new admin is added. A lot of the times when a website is hacked, a new admin is created and then the hacker does their thing. So that way if we get alerted, well we could react as quickly as possible. And here's a code snippet that I got from ChatGPT. So that way I do get alerts going to my email when a new admin is added. The second thing I do is I use perf matters and wp login lockdown pro now perf matters is an optimization plugin but it does have some features that help out with security and then login lockdown pro that also has more features i turn all these on and if you need to block specific countries you could do that the next is going to be the two-factor authentication this I also do inside of WP Login Lockdown Pro. But if you want a free solution for a two-factor authentication, then check out Fluent Auth. It is super good and it's crazy that it's free. It's really awesome. In fact, it was a conversation that I had with Jewel at a work camp. He's the founder of all the Fluent plugins. And he was telling me about Fluent Auth and how it was built for their own team. They pair it up with Cloudflare and how that is the total security solution. Like that covers everything. No no other security plugins needed. I was fascinated with it, which is what took me down the Cloudflare rabbit hole. Next up, I use WP Umbrella for my WordPress site management, and they have an integration and partnership with PatchStack, which is awesome because PatchStack is the top in the WordPress industry for WordPress security. They identify vulnerabilities inside other plugins and even provide patches for it. But having this inside of WP Umbrella ensures that my sites are constantly being scanned. And if any plugins have vulnerabilities, I'm alerted right away and can react to it. And next up is super, super important. And this is something that everybody needs to be doing watching this video. And that is to limit the number of plugins you are using and be very careful with the plugins. Make sure to only use plugins by an active developer development team. You can tell if a plugin has an active development team by going to the change log. You can see how many updates does it have throughout the year. When is the last time it's been updated? If it only has a few updates all year long, or if it hasn't been updated in over a year, you got to ditch it. You got to remove it. And sometimes this might create extra work, but trust me, it is better than getting that phone call at 3 a.m. from a client in panic saying that their website has been hacked. I know this from experience. And finally, last on the list, but one of the most important things to do is backup, backup, backup. That is my slogan. I have at least three layers of backups. I got backups going to my hosting. I got backups going to WP Umbrella. I got backups being downloaded. I got backups. I got backups galore. Always have several backups being automated because the easiest and fastest way to fix a hacked website, if you catch it in time, is with a backup. Up. At the end of the day, no website is unhackable. Even PayPal's website got hacked. But WordPress, WordPress is an easy target. And that's because over 40% of the internet are WordPress websites and a high percentage of those are built by hobbyists and non-web development professionals. So hackers create bots and they target WordPress specifically because they got a better chance of hacking to a WordPress website than others. But here's the thing with WordPress security. There's always room for improvement. Even now, I feel like I got an awesome security stack, but I still want to find ways 
and continuously improve. If you have any ideas, if you have any methods that are working really well for you, let us know how you are securing your website. I would love to hear from you. What's your stack? What are you using? Drop it inside the comments. This way we could all learn from each other, get ideas from each other, and all of us could start to step up our security game. Well, that's it for this video. If you do got questions, go ahead and leave them inside of the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.